Hi, this is Melody Payne at MelodyPayne.com. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this set of printable and digital calendars that you can put together to use as your piano studio calendar for the year. Let's get started. Here's my calendar that I put together for this year, and you'll see that there's a place for your logo, for whatever kind of text you want to put right here, a place for you to type your special dates here, and then each month, August all the way through July. You can also see that I've overlaid the calendars with these transparent highlight boxes so that the dates on the calendar are color coordinated with the text in the text box. This is the template that you will receive in this download. It's a 2021 calendar that I've already put together for you. You'll see that every item on the page is selected. That means that every item is movable and replaceable with other items on the following pages. All the parts of the calendar are on this page. You'll see that you have two different font styles for the different months of the year. You'll have two different font styles for the years 2020 all the way through 2030. There's even a dash if you want to do that. And then there are these transparent highlights that you can resize very easily if you want to make your calendars larger or smaller than the ones I've included. How do you edit this calendar? It is super easy. Everything is already set for 2020, but I'm going to show you how to replace things so that you can create your calendar for the following years. If you decide that you want to use the other font besides this one, you can just come right down here and click for August and you'll notice it's a PNG file that is also known as a digital sticker and it's resizable. I've already sized them to a size that will work for these calendars. So all you have to do is tap the month that you want, copy or command C or control C, come to your calendar page, command or control V and paste. Then you just grab it on one of the black parts of the word. If you grab the white, it won't it won't drag it because it is a transparent PNG. So make sure you tap on the black part. Then you could just come bring it up here, tap on the black part of this one to select it, delete, and then drop this one right here, and place it exactly where you want. If you need to change this calendar for some reason, it's also a PNG file. It's resizable and movable. I've got it set for August 2020 currently, which starts on a Saturday. But let's say you want to change this to August 2021. August 2021 starts on a Sunday. So you'll scroll down to this page and you'll see that I've created every combination of calendar that you'll need. These are all PNG files. This first column, all of the calendars have 31 days and they start on each day of the week. So this one starts on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and a Saturday. We need the one with 31 days that starts on a Sunday. So select it, copy, paste. Now, if you want to get rid of this other one right here, we can do that. And then we can just drag this one right here, place it where you want. And here's your calendar for August, 2021. You'd repeat that process with each calendar. I promise it's very, very easy to do and it only takes a few minutes once you get the hang of it. Now I'm going to show you how to use the transparent highlights to highlight special dates on your calendar. To highlight special dates on your calendar, for example, if you go back to my sample, you'll see that I've got some gray dates. Those are our holiday break dates. Pink dates are our recitals. The blue is when our enrollment paperwork is due. Green is for our mini camps. So you can see that I have a few different colors and I've coordinated the text here in my text box to match the colors that I've used to highlight my recital. So just makes it a little bit more user friendly and easy for the parents and students to follow along with and find dates. I'm going to go right back here to this one and let's imagine that we want to have a recital on October the 10th on a Saturday and you want to do your recitals whatever color you like. You can even change the color of these if you want to. So all you have to do, let me show you that real quickly. All you have to do to change the colors is drag and highlight. And over here, see it says color fill. 
You're going to leave it on color fill. Now, this is in Keynote, so in PowerPoint, it will look a little bit different, but the premise is the same. So just look around until you see where you can fill a box or color a box or something like that. Then what we're going to do is click right here and then it brings up all of our different colors. And you can select one of these preset colors or you can come here and select any color that you want. I'm going to change it because I would like for it to be a nice yellow highlight. So I'm just going to click yellow and there you have yellow highlight. So back to the recital. I'm going to make my recital pink. So you select that small box for the one day. Copy, paste, and then drag. And if it doesn't line up exactly where you want, you can use the arrow keys to move it around. And there, now you've got October 10th is highlighted, but it's so transparent that it does not impede the view of the calendar at all. So that's a really, really easy way to highlight your calendar dates. And like I showed you before, changing these calendars out is super simple. Let me go back to this page, tell you a little bit more about it. We talked about the 31 days of the month. This next column here, all the calendars have 30 days because 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except for February. And all of these over here are for February. Sometimes February has 29, as we know. So starting on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., with 29 days. And then sometimes it has 28. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, each with 28 days. So those are all of our calendar possibilities for the year. And then when you're here, you have your month and then another font for the month. You have your years and then another font for the years. You have your transparent highlights in four different colors, but you can easily change them to any color you like. Let's say that instead of blue, you'd rather have purple. So just tap purple and now you have purple highlights. Then what if you just come up here, you can just play around and find any color that is your favorite color. All of these are digital stickers. All of these are digital stickers and they can all be copied and pasted right onto this calendar page. So that's a quick trip into how to use this editable calendar. And as I mentioned, the 2020 2021 calendar is already prepared for you. I've already put all of the months and then I've already put all of the small calendars here. So if you would like to change anything on this, you're welcome to do that. But please remember, this is for personal and studio use only, not for commercial use. Thanks for joining me for this quick tutorial. This is Melody Payne at MelodyPayne.com.